Welcome back to the talk show where rock and roll has always been our business. This is the Alan Handelman Show. We got to do something. Absolutely. You know what we got to do? Toga, toga party. party. We're on double secret probation, whatever that is. We can't afford to have a toga party. You guys up for a toga party? Toga! Toga! Uh, I think they like the idea, Hoof. Oh, Otter, please don't do this. We got news for you, pal. They're going to nail us no matter what we do. So we might as well have a good time. Toga, 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 toga. A scene from Animal House that stands out. That movie now celebrating its 40th anniversary. But wait till you hear what it took to get the movie made and how much the actors got paid. We're going to talk to the man behind the movie. He's also behind the vacation movies. Matty Simmons, he started National Lampoon. That's coming up in just a bit. One more segment with Bob Crane talking about electronics, the latest innovation in radio and audio. Uh, and by the way, what are some of the things on the drawing board coming out soon? Um, boy, that's a tough one. You know, the radio world is very competitive. I can mention that we do have a, a very small... Uh, AM, FM type radio coming out. Uh, so if you're thinking of buying a smaller pocket radio, then well, just kind of hang around <laughs> yeah. as a favor to me. Sure. Is it AM, FM shortwave? Um, I don't think it's shortwave on it. Okay. I'll, yeah. Uh, so it's just, uh, yeah, might be something else on there, though, but, you know, not shortwave. All right. Can't talk about it yet. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Uh, the other uh, interesting device, not a device, it's just a radio amazing quality small package it's a little bigger than a, a, a can of soup uh it's the gozo radio i've talked about it myself on many uh of the commercials i've talked about c crane it's a little am fm radio but it also has a inline input that you could put use it as a pa basically you could hook it up to any output of an mp3 player or a radio and it has the the bass and treble of a speaker that's sometimes 10 times the size of the radio. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of an indulgent piece we made, but it, it's, yeah, it's probably the highest quality audio for the size ever made. And that includes everyone. Uh, so we're, it, it's a challenge, and I'm bragging again. I shouldn't brag, but it's a remarkable little radio. If you like a small radio, gosh, it's, you know, three inches deep and about the size of your hand, then uh, and the audio is good enough to not tire of, and it's for your desk or for uh, you know a kitchen radio, a small space. Runs on four or six uh, AA batteries or the AC adapter that comes with it, and and it's just a simple AM FM radio. But the audio clarity and the simplicity are uh, a lot of fun to behold. How do you get that big sound? Is it the magnet in the speaker? <laughs> because it's such a big sound. And it, when you turn up the volume, you're not hearing a speaker rattle or a vibration. You're hearing pure audio. Well, <clears throat> that is something that had a patent on it up until recently, and it's called a passive radiator. And what you do is you have a speaker. I think it's two and a half inch in the, in the radio, which so doesn't sound like much, but... A very high quality two and a half inch speaker with modern techniques is remarkable. Then you place uh, a diaphragm of the correct size on the back of the radio or someplace else, and that speaker that's being driven pushes that radiator. Uh, and it it kind of interesting. A, a speaker that's a certain size produces a lot of frequencies at its resonant frequency, and that turns out to be not a good thing. In uh, when you want really a broad uh, band of music. So the, the radiator in back dampens down that uh, frequency that's resonant on the, uh, on the original speaker. And thusly, you have a, a tremendous range of audio that you've never heard before uh, coming out of a little radio. And you see it more and more, but I think this is the first, uh, again, I'll, uh, I should brag. I won't brag. It's one of the well, first radios. You can brag, because <laughs> I know you and you're, right, you're, you're talking about something that happens to be matter of fact, the truth. So it's true. It's a remarkable little radio uh, uh, for the audio quality and just the fun. And, you know, I should mention something to Alan is that if, you, if anybody in the audience wants, has a, a thought or an idea or a comment, you know, they can direct it to, uh, to our staff here at Seacrane an email or a letter and it, just say it's from Alan and this is for Bob and I will get it. And if it's uh, 
something that needs a response, I'm happy to respond to it. That's right. And when you order or something or you're just calling for a catalog or asking a question, always tell them that you heard Bob on the show and you heard about the company from me. And, and, and that's great. That's something that I think uh, many of the listeners do, and I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, you got great listeners out there. Oh, Thank that, you, Alan. You're very welcome. Now, the EP radio I mentioned before, uh, this is, uh, you here again, you're looking at those radio buffs that still listen to AM, some of them. And this radio not only has a great FM radio built in it, it, that's very uh, up-to-date, modern, and full of the, the high-end clarity, but it has a great receiving end on the AM. Talk about the EP. This is one of your newer radios. Well, it's a newer radio, uh, but it's also a radio that rings a bell for a lot of people, and it's been improved upon. There was an old uh, super radio that used to be around for years and years, mm -hmm. and this radio really has the essence of that radio uh, with actually better AM reception and uh, better audio quality for, uh, for most people. So, and it's not very expensive. It's about probably less expensive than the old radio if you figure in inflation. And it and so for it, it serves a real purpose. You could call it a knockabout radio for the garage. It'd be a good purpose. Uh, also, there's a lot of people that appreciate how an analog radio works. Uh, uh, in other words, it they come from a time when there wasn't a digital anything, and. Like, uh, my mother really appreciates the, the radio, the EP. Uh, she has a, a great time with it. And then at the same time, there's a couple nuances in the background that uh, a DX or a person who loves AM to see where he can get. We actually have a, a, a manual tune for uh, the twin coil ferrite, which has kind of a remarkable result. It's not really a trimmer. It's actually kind of a... You're kind of tuning a sideband to some degree, mm. so it's it's really different. And it uh, works. It, it, it works, it works yeah. really well. It, it gets rid of the interference uh, sometimes. So the station that's so far away that you can't even make it out on most radios, you can hear it on this radio because you can tune past the, the the right on the frequency. You tune a little to the left or a little to the right of the frequency. Is that is that's it? right. Yeah, you tune a little bit off center, and you can pick up stuff. Right. And it, and it also puts. I think that it makes you smile <laughs> because you did it, not the radio manufacturer that sticks it on one digit, and you can't go anywhere but there. Oh, oh <laughs> you just rem that, that reminded me on the uh, FM transmitter. Another very cool, very very. I've never heard anybody else do this. You not only have the frequencies on FM, you also have it in steps of five uh, megahertz, I believe. So yep. you can, if you've got a little interference and you want to, let's say, be on 94.5, and there's some interference from 94.3 uh, uh, or something like that, you can actually step it up by five megahertz and just avoid that station. And you're in between. No transmitter I know on the market does that. Uh, I don't think so, and well, plus, and then you got to throw in you can set your audio level too, which is a huge yeah. uh, benefit. An auto uh, level uh, audio d device is not as good as when you set yourself. Well, Bob, it's always great talking to you. Keep up the great work. I'm happy that things are doing well. The economy's rough out there, and people are very careful about how they spend the money. But things continue to grow, and you're doing well. And I really appreciate your work. Well, thank you, and we certainly enjoy uh, doing the work that we do. And uh, no, I, I suppose we're not rich anymore, but when you love what you do, you're getting uh, rewarded every day. So, and thank you very much. And when we come back, the man who founded National Lampoon, he was the man behind all the vacation movies and Animal House, and wait till you hear what it took to get the studios to make Animal House and come up with the money for Animal House. The book he has out called Fat, Drunk, and Stupid. We're going to talk to Maddie Simmons when we get back. Stay tuned for more of the Alan Handelman Show. And now, here's something from Coors Light for everybody out there who loves summer. I love... 